the foundational passage of my life that comes from the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians. And Paul talks about having these surpassingly great revelations and visions from the Lord. And then he talks about a messenger of Satan, a thorn in the flesh that was given him, that he pleaded with God three times to take that thorn away. And then we get some red letters, and I love this. Jesus speaking to Paul says, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. When I try to explain to people, really the Christian life, which I see as a, as a recovery of, uh, we were once very good, made in the image of God. Currently we're marred and broken and fragmented by you know sin and evil and all those things. So every single one of us are in some way in recovery. My brokenness that God uses most powerfully in the lives of others. It's actually my wounds that when we have the courage to take the bandages off our wounds and, and share them with another person, that they can experience healing. And that actually our weakness is our superpower. Because that passage shows us that in our weakness, not in our, you know, look at me, not in our ingenuity or our superior intellect or our, all of our giftedness, right? That Paul is saying it's, it's the wound, it's the thorn that keeps me uh, in the power of Christ uh, to live a transformed life.